Before I begin the Price is Right pricing and recap, please join me in a moment of silence to remember B.B. King. He sadly passed away on yesterday's date, May 14th. He was 89 years old. He was an American blues singer, songwriter, and guitarist. His guitar, as uh, most of his fans remember, was nicknamed Lucille. He died of a series of small strokes in his home of Las Vegas, Nevada. He also suffered from complications of high blood pressure and diabetes. Thank you, and rest in peace, B.B. King. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Friday, May 15th, 2015. And today is the fifth and final day of Socially Awesome Week. Has it been socially awesome this past week? Absolutely. Wow, this week went by so fast. I, I can't believe that the weekend's was just about here. Well... Time to get things rolling with our first four contestants that were called to come on down. And they were Michael Price. <laughs> Very fitting that he gets to be called to come on down first, especially his last name is Price. Renee, Donnell, and Robert. And the model that gave Drew the mic at the handoff today was New York 87's favorite model that he met in person, achieving a lifelong dream of his, ravishing Rachel Reynolds. And our first item up for bids was a Kate Spade leather accessory collection that was modeled by the marvelous Manuela Arbelias. The bids were as follows. Michael, $1,462. Renee, $1,565. Donnell, $1,800. And Robert, $1. And the actual retail price of the Kate Spade leather accessories were $1,000. $702. Renee is the first contestant to play a pricing game. Renee was wearing a shirt that mentioned me and Springfield, Missouri. And mentioned Bob Barker and Drew Carey's name on the bottom of the shirt. So, Renee obviously is from Springfield, Missouri. And for Renee, she's going to have a chance to win a Lloyd Flanders Wicker Collection of Patio Chairs with throw pillow and one end table included and a Sunbright TV 46-inch 1080p LED outdoor HDTV with one stand included modeled by the joyful 
James O'Halloran. Renee's pricing game is pushover. There are four numbers in the price of the chairs and the Sunbright TV. Renee's starting push price was $8,629. Renee pushed a second time with one block going over, making the price of the chairs and the TV together $4,862. And that's when Renee decided to stop pushing. Hmm. Kind of interesting. She believed that the chairs and the outdoor TV were $4,862. Um, if it was me playing, I would have pushed one more time. Well, let's see. When Drew revealed the actual retail price of the chairs and the Sunbright TV, it turned out to be... $6,486. Renee should have pushed one more time, just as I thought. But Renee still has the Kate Spade accessories. Okay, for our next contestant that was called to come on down, George Gray informed us that this contestant was actually one of two winners from an Instagram contest. And, at this point, I will mention that the next contestant called to come on down was Instagram winner, Cameron Brown. She came on down. Cameron spells her name C-A-M-R-Y-N. Congratulations, Cameron, on winning the Instagram contest. Our next item up for bids was a Cuisinart 15 bar pump espresso machine. And also from Cuisinart was a single serve coffee maker with one burr grinder included, also from Cuisinart, I'm sure, modeled by Rachel. The bids were Cameron, $575. Donnell, $650. Robert, $700. And Michael, 701. Well, Michael did ask Drew what the highest bid was, and it was 700 until 701 came into play. Dun, 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 dun. The actual retail price of the espresso machine, the coffee maker, and the burr grinder included from Cuisinart was $899. Michael is the second contestant to play a pricing game. Michael was wearing a, a custom-made t-shirt that said, um, well, it featured the state of California and uh, the word Fresno, with the S being the dollar sign. And on the bottom it said, hashtag get neutered. But, uh, Michael is definitely a loyal friend and true of The Price is Right. Why is that, you might be asking? Well, Drew uh, showed, showed us all that on the back of Michael's head was the TPIR, the, the TPIR logo is shaved on the back of his head. It's, it's carved out. Now that is definitely dedication to The Price is Right, with doing something like that. He... He definitely is a loyal friend and true, and if anyone who, uh, who doubts that about Michael, go ahead and try him. He'll just, <laughs> he'll just kick your butt. <laughs> and now for Michael, he is playing one wrong price. And uh, George mentioned that he could give one of those, one of the following three prizes that Michael has a chance to win to uh, his barber for doing such an awesome job on doing that design. Okay, the, these three prizes Michael was playing for were a GE dishwasher modeled by Manuela, a 23-inch HP desktop computer with printer included modeled by Rachel, and a Kawasaki KLX 140 off-road motorcycle modeled by James. The dishwasher was priced at $1,200.
The computer with printer was priced at $2,830, and the off-road motorcycle was priced at $3,099. As we know, one of these three prices is wrong. If Michael can find the one wrong price, he wins all three prizes. Michael believed that the computer was the one, was the one wrong price of $2,830, and that was my guess as I was playing along. So Rachel was going to reveal the price of the computer, with the printer included. If it was anything other than $2,830, Michael wins all three prizes. And when Rachel revealed the actual retail price, it turned out to be... $2,089! Michael wins all three prizes! Yep, and we all confirmed that the dishwasher was not the one wrong price, and James confirmed that the motorcycle was not the one wrong price, as those two prizes had right prices. Michael won himself a grand total of $6,388 in prizes. And including his one big prize, Michael currently won $7,287 in prizes. All right. After the first commercial break was over, our next contestant was called to come on down. That person was... Megan Hahn! And our next item up for bids was a V360 360 degree action camera with one 10 piece camera kit, mounting pack, memory card, and extra battery included Brought down from the jewelry elevator. The bids were Megan, a thousand dollars, Cameron, nine fifty, Donnell, one thousand twenty, and Robert, one dollar. And the actual retail price of the 360 degree camera from V360 was $516. Robert is the third contestant to play a pricing game. And Robert was wearing a shirt that spelled out uh, Toledo. And uh, it was confirm that Robert is from Toledo, OHIO! And now for Robert from OHIO, he's got a chance to win a new CAR car! It is a Kia Forte LX. It comes equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, shiftable automatic transmission, 16-inch alloyed wheels, front-wheel drive, popular package, plus cargo net, temporary spare tire, and paint and fabric protection. Modeled by Manuela. Robert's pricing game is Stack the Deck. So, Rachel was over by the numbers 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And she would be placing those numbers in the price of the car. Now, for Robert's first chance of winning a free number, we had these two grocery products that Drew jokingly said he has never heard of before. They were a 20-count box of Bigelow Green Tea Classic Tea Bags and a 16-ounce can of Rosarita Traditional Refried Beans. One of these two grocery products cost $3.49. Robert believed that it was the green tea bags. And the price of the green tea bag the price of the green tea bags were three dollars forty nine cents. Robert wins a free number. He chose the fourth number and it was seven. Here were the next two grocery products. They were a 10-ounce spray can of Scotch Guard fabric and upholstery protector, and a two-pack of Alcori Opt-Free Replenish Contact Solution. One of these two grocery products was the price of how much the WWE Network is if you subscribe to it. $9.99! Next time that 
price uh, gets put into play, I, I gotta play the $9.99 duh jingle. Or part of it, at least. Uh, Robert believed that the Scotch Guard cost $9.99. And the price of the Scotch Guard was. $9.99. Robert chose the fifth number as his free number to choose from this time, and, it, and that was. Four. Okay, the final two grocery products were a 10 ounce jar of Mazetta Super Colossal Spanish Queen Pimento Stuffed Olives and a 24 ounce bag of Celetano Frozen Cheese Ravioli. One of these two grocery products cost $4.67. Robert, saying that his family uh, would kill him if he didn't pick the ravioli, so he went with that. The price of the frozen cheese ravioli from Celentano was... $4.67! Can you believe it? Robert got all three free numbers. He chose the third number, and that was... 8. So, the last three numbers in the price of the car were eight seventy four. Now... Robert actually uh, made up his mind uh, pretty quickly to go with what he believed the first two numbers were in the price of the car. He believed it was 21874 And uh, just as Rachel was placing the two, um, Robert decided to change his mind. He decided to go with the one and the six. So he believed that the price of the Kia Forte LX was now 16874 and not 21874 as he was thinking originally. When Drew asked Robert why did he change his mind, Robert didn't really know. But uh, Drew thought of uh, a voice from Ohio told him to change it. Now due to uh, Drew's uh, uh, recovering arm from his shoulder surgery, Robert was given the opportunity to press the button to reveal the actual retail price. Oh boy, I hope it's not 21000 If it is, that would be a big blow. Robert pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price of the Kia Forte LX. And it turned out to be...
amounts to land on to add to the 90 cents. But Drew told Renee she can't go over a dollar. So Renee reluctantly chose to stay. And hopefully that she and Robert will have a spinoff. Now on to Michael, who spun the wheel last. For his first spin, he landed on 20 cents. So Michael needed 70 cents to 80 cents in his second spin. And adding to the 20 cents in his first spin, Michael got in his second spin 85 cents. For a total of one dollar five cents, Michael is over, and now it's time for Robert and Renee's spinoff. Robert spun the wheel first, and he landed on twenty cents. So that was his one and only spin there. Let's see if Renee can beat 20 cents in one spin. It does seem doable. And when Renee spun the wheel for her one and only spin-off spin, the amount she landed on was... Well, it was poised for the wheel to stop on 90 cents. But guess what? It went to the nickel! Oh! That's what Renee got! Five cents! And, boy, by sheer luck, Robert is on his way to the showcase! Well, that, that snap the deck loss was absolutely, absolutely painful. But, Robert can definitely win big in the showcase. Now, Drew plugged that uh, after the Price is Right uh, ended for Socially Awesome Week for today. On PriceIsRight.com, they have a show called The Price is Right After. That's where, um, I guess, the cast will uh, talk about Socially Awesome Week from this past week, and among other things. So, I, I'll definitely check that out. I mean, I'm sure it's on the Price is Right's YouTube channel, and I checked earlier. It is. Okay, our next contestant called to come on down was... Riley Mulligan. And our next item up for bids was a 32-piece picnic gear and a road trip grill 36-inch collapsible propane grill with one waterproof outdoor blanket and leather wine tote included, modeled by James. The bids were Riley, $765. Megan, $500. Cameron, $600. And Donnell, $501. And the actual retail price of the picnic gear, along with the propane grill, was $663. Cameron, the Instagram contest winner, is the fourth contestant to play a pricing game. Cameron was wearing a pink homemade shirt that um, said this on it. I drew this shirt. It was... Uh, Drew was in a name tag, and the S from this was the dollar sign. And now for Cameron, she's got a chance to win a trip for two to Carmel, California. It's round trip coach from Los Angeles to Monterey and then on to Carmel for a five-night stay in a one-bedroom fairway villa at the Quail Lodge and Golf Club. With daily breakfast, one dinner, and a round of golf included, modeled by Rachel. Cameron's pricing game is check game. So, this is how it works. Cameron's going to write a check amount out, and that will be added to the price of the trip to Carmel. And if the total is at least $7,000, but no more than $8,000, 
Cameron wins the trip and the money in the check. Here we go. Cameron decided to write the check for $1,250 by using the prices right quilt. Well, so $1,250 is the amount Cameron wrote, like I said. And to me, I felt this was that was not enough. So in order for Cameron to win, that trip to Carmel has to be at least $5,750. And it cannot be more than $6,750. And when Rachel revealed the actual retail price of the trip to Carmel, it turned out to be... $5,476! For a total of... $6,726. Oh, Cameron was short by $274. And Manuela had to void the check. But let's look at it this way. That void check is now a souvenir for Cameron. And she also has the picnic gear with the grill. So you know what? That's the upside to all this. Our next contestant called to come on down was... Alexandra. Our next item up for bids was... Three Moco Forward Unisex Designer Watches that were brought out by James and Rachel. The bids were Alexandra, $855. Donnell, $650. Riley, $900. And Megan, $901. And the actual retail price of the designer watches from Muko were $1,365. Megan is the fifth contestant to play a pricing game. And uh, Megan was wearing a green sweatshirt that read out, The Price is Right, Hashtag When You're 40 and Cancer Free. God bless her. So, Megan, the cancer survivor, is now going to have a chance to do something very awesome on The Price is Right. You know what that is? She gets to play Plinko! For a chance to win up to $50,000 in cash! So... Drew gives Megan her one free Plinko chip, and she can win up to four more chips if she knows the prices of the four small prizes over by Manuela. First, we had a Hamilton Beach four-quart slow cooker. The price was not $28. Megan believed eight was the second number and not two being the first number. Manuela revealed the price to be... $48. That's one Plinko chip one. Next was a Helen of Troy professional tangle free hot air brush. The price was not $36. Megan believed three was the first number and not six being the second number. Manuela revealed the price to be $31. That's another Plinko chip one. Next was a Sunrise Pro two slot knife sharper. Or sharpener. I think it's sharpened though. Anyway, the wrong price was $80.
Megan believes zero was the second number, not eight being the first number. And Manuela revealed the price to be $50. Megan's three for three. Let's see if she can go for the sweep. The last small prize was a Nostalgia Electric's hollow chocolatier chocolate candy maker with seven decorative molds and 25 assorted foil wraps. The price was not $72. Megan believed two was the second number and not seven being the first number. Manuela revealed the price to be... $74. Should have chose the seven. But four out of five is still not bad on Plinko chips. So, Manuela gave Megan the three Plinko chips that she won. She climbed up the stairs, and when she dropped her first of four Plinko chips, the first one, she placed it between the L, the I, and the N, and that landed in $100. Well, it's better than nothing. Now, for her second chip, she placed that on the N, and the amount that it went in was $500. Oh, she did a little better there. For the third chip, she placed it between the N and the K. And the amount she got for that chip was $1,000. So, she's up to $1,600. Let's see how She'll fare with the last Plinko chip. We know where we want it to blend in. Let's see if it happened. For her fourth chip, Megan dropped it where the K was located in Plinko. And it did come down kind of fast. And the slot that it landed in was... sharper for a total of $129. Mm -hmm. So Megan won $11,729 in cash and small prizes in Plinko, and this goes down as an actual win. And including her one bid prize, Megan currently won $13,094 in prizes and cash. contestant that was called to come on down today was Brenda. Well, Brenda has definitely been the most popular name to be called to come on down last this week. I think it's happened, I think this is the third time this has happened. Wow. All right. The last item up for bids was a Samsung 55-inch LED 1080p HDTV modeled by Manuela. The bids were Brenda, $1,800. Alexandra, $1,850. Dania, um, excuse me, Donnell, $2,000. And Riley, $2,100. sweet it is. Now, the contestant who won the $500 gave this actual retail price, and it was 
$2,000. It was Donnell. She gets the $500 bonus. Well, that's a very uh, nice prize to start her way on uh, winning some more. She was wearing a shirt that read, At Keychains for Me. Interesting. Alright. Danelle now is going to be playing for... A new car! And it's a Scion TC three-door liftback. Comes equipped with a 2.5 liter engine, 6-speed automatic transmission, and panoramic glass moon roof modeled by Rachel. So, Danelle already got the $500 for her perfect bid, and winning a brand new car would definitely make things a lot better for her um, on her day on The Price is Right. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, King Barrett! Oh. You're up to bad news again, aren't you? Uh, for Danelle, she is going to be playing a pricing game that she even knew was a hard game to play. And that is, of course, that's too much! Well, this sure is a sucky way for the pricing games to end socially awesome week like this, but it can be won this game. It really can. So, let's see what happened. First price was 14185 Danelle kept going. The second price, 15343 Danelle kept going. The third price was 16582 Danelle kept going. The fourth price, 17760 Danelle kept going. The fifth price, 18980 Danelle kept going. The sixth price was 20161 And that's when Danelle said... That's too much! So, Danelle believed 20161 was just over the actual retail price of the Scion TC. And when Rachel revealed the actual retail price of the Scion TC, was Danelle a winner? No, she wasn't. The actual retail price was $21,130. It was the next price, the seventh price, that was too much at $21,480. But Danelle has the $500 and the HDTV, and her current winnings in cash and prizes was $2,500. Now on to the second showcase showdown. The first contestant to spin the wheel was Cameron. In her first spin, Cameron landed on 75 cents. Cameron chose to stay. Danelle was the next contestant to spin. And for her first spin, she landed on 80 cents. Danelle chose to stay as she defeated Cameron by one nickel. And our final contestant to spin was Megan. In her first spin, Megan landed on 15 cents. So now, Megan had to get at least 65 cents, but no more than 85 cents in her second spin. And adding to the 15 cents in her first spin, Megan got in that second spin 35 cents for a total of 50 cents which was not enough to defeat Danelle, who was going to the showcase. Well, she didn't win that evil pricing game, but she does have a chance to win bigger prizes in the showcases coming up. So, Socially Awesome Week, definitely, I think in my mind, is one of the pretty cool gimmicks the Price is Right has, uh, put on in the modern age the show has been on the air. 
And, uh, it's no surprise that'll definitely be around for next year. Well, looking forward to more fun then. Now on to the showcases. Our top winner today was Denell. The runner-up was Robert. Showcase number one. The theme of it was, so good it'll make your mouth water. First, we had a trip for two to Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta is the city where Family Feud is taped. I know I just referenced a different game show here, but aside from uh, going to The Price is Right to be in the audience for that show, I'd also love to attend a Family Feud taping. I mean, Steve Harvey's the man. It's round trip coach from Los Angeles, the trip, for a six-night stay in a deluxe king room at the Renaissance Atlanta Midtown Hotel. Daily breakfast, rental car, and one sightseeing bicycle tour included, modeled by Manuela. Next was a Schecter Guitar Research electric guitar with case included, modeled by James. And then it was a trip for two to New Zealand, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles to Queenstown. For a six night stay in a King relaxation room at a luxury hotel with daily breakfast included, plus a 50 minute helicopter tour of the Southern Alps. Modeled by Rachel. Danelle chose to bid on this showcase because she's always wanted to go to New Zealand. Danelle bid $19,550. Now for Robert's showcase. Showcase number two, the theme of it was social media all year round. And it started off with a Samsung smartphone. And then it was a trip for two to St. Croix, which is round trip coach from Los Angeles, for a seven-night all-inclusive stay in an oceanfront deluxe room at the Buccaneer, with one spa treatment each, a round of golf, plus a one-day car rental included. The smartphone and the trip to St. Croix were modeled by Rachel. The trip to St. Croix appeared at door number four in a distance. And finally... We had a Volkswagen Jetta S with tech. Comes equipped with a 2-liter engine, 5-speed manual transmission, and front-wheel drive, modeled by James. Robert chose to play it safe with his bid, which was $29,163. All right. For the showcase reveal, Drew went to Robert first. Robert bid $29,163. Actual retail price? $30,335. For a difference of $1,172. That is a pretty great bid he gave. So he did play it safe on that. Now over to Denell. Her bid? $19,550. Actual retail price? Twenty thousand six eighty nine for a difference of one thousand one hundred thirty nine dollars, and by thirty three dollars, by thirty three dollars, Danelle wins her showcase. Boy, I tell you, very close, uh, very close results in the showcases today. Man, thirty-three dollars. Wow. So, Danelle is the big winner. She won herself a grand total in cash and prizes of twenty-three thousand one hundred eighty-nine dollars. Congratulations, Danelle. So. One wrong price was our only price in game one in its entirety. And Plinko also uh, was given a win. That was uh, an actual win. And as far as cash goes, we gave away a grand total of $12,100. Megan won $11,600 in Plinko, and Danelle won $500 for a perfect bid. And also, given away was the slow cooker, the 
the hot air brush and the knife sharper and chunk up. Just throw that in. So the MVPs of the Price is Right are Michael and Megan, M and M. And contestant recognition goes to Danelle. Now, Benjamin James Mason from BGM to be Canada has the following acknowledgement. I'm completely stunned at how Robert aced the grocery portion of Stack the Deck and STILL lost the car. I'm not going to bother finding out if that's ever happened before just yet. Well, uh, Benjamin James Mason, just to, uh, not, not to be ahead of, uh, not to be ahead of you, but, uh, I remember a playing of Stack the Deck, uh, back from Bob's last season where the contestant got the three, three numbers, but still, uh, messed up on the price of the car, uh, specifically that second number. And uh, Gipper Man wanted me to acknowledge these following facts. In the two products in cliffhangers that were unguessed, this was from yesterday's show, the Honeywell fan was $30, and the Hamilton Beach Panini Press was $45. As Gilbert Gottfried would say on VH1's I Love the 80s or 90s, this is relating to Margaret's $200 bid on that sound machine, What the f- what the fuck is right? My 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 own question from uh, that playing of cliffhangers yesterday was, what the hell was that? <laughs> Funding for the Price Is Right pricing and recap this week has been provided by Dell. The power to do more. Now for the sponsor spoiler. Next week, the Price is Right pricing and recap will be sponsored by Pompeian Gourmet Red Wine Vinegar. Now, I'm going to have the wins of the week uh, done as a separate upload, as I'll be working on that this upcoming weekend. Oh, there you go on that. Socially Awesome Week. Uh, to me, was another success for this season on The Price is Right. Looking forward on them doing it again next season. It was uh, definitely a lot of fun. And it was definitely a lot of fun for me to do these recaps for the week. So I'll look forward on doing it again next week. Until then, I am Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pet spinner neutered. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you next week.